made a documentary called Eastern, and it's uh, the story about Eastern Commerce, the high school basketball um, program that is uh, in my neighborhood. And I just saw that um, there was this like, really vibrant community in my neighborhood that I felt like wasn't really getting the recognition that it deserved. And it's been there for almost 100 years, if not longer. So I thought it was like there's so much history there, and they've been the best basketball program in Canada for so long. Um, so I just thought, like, someone has to document this. You know, we can't just let our um, history um, not be remembered. And when I started the film, I was only 19 years old. When you're a young person, you're starting something new and that you've never, like, done before, it's always going to be a challenge, you know? Like, I never made a documentary before in my life. I never, like, I just, like, kind of dreamed it. Like, I just thought, like, I love sports docs. This is an amazing story. Like, why can't I do it? We wanted to capture, like, a true representation of who these people were and who this community was, and how was the school so good at basketball? Like, how did it happen? Um, because I think it's a remarkable story. Uh, we had six screenings in Toronto now. Um, we have like a broadcast agreement um, in place. And uh, yeah, it's been an amazing journey. We've showed it to some classrooms and students. And uh, yeah, I'm just really proud of it because like in 20 years when my kids are learning about Toronto basketball, um, I feel like if it wasn't for this film, like they would be able to read about some of it and there'd still be stories, but it wouldn't be the history that I think the school deserves. So it was really important for me and um, my team to document this and I'm really proud that we did. The reaction to the film has been pretty overwhelming. I remember Jamal McGlure from the Toronto Raptors was there and I have this photo of him like his thumbs up and he said he really liked the movie and a lot of the community was there so that meant a lot. And then we also had uh, two screenings where we raised money for charity. So we raised over $5,000 for Toronto Charities, which I'm really proud of. Um, I think it's really important to give back through our film. I think what Eastern did, what Eastern Commerce represents is um, a lot of people who really cared about youth. Um, so it seemed only fitting that we could give back to basketball related charities and um, to kids downtown. I guess one of like, the most touching things, like special moments for me was Lou Cialsis. He's the, they call him the godfather. He's been there for over 40 years. And, uh, he came up to me after he saw it for the first time um, at a, a screening at the Royal Cinema and he came up to me and said, Thank you so much for doing this. Um, and then he said, you made a, a, you made a lifetime of work worthwhile. Um, so that really meant a lot. For him to say that, that like, the recognition that we showed the program and the love that we showed the program and like, that we actually took the time to care, that it meant so much to him, that really meant a lot to me. Yeah, at the end of the day, like, it's great that we did this and we got into film festivals and it's great that we um, got recognition and it's great that people have been enjoying the film, but at the end of the day, what means the most to me is that like, the people who put so much work into a program got like recognition and that they um, feel like someone listened to them because at the end of the day everyone needs a voice.